Here's one way to create a cutout. I'm going to crop the area that is surrounding the girls and you can see I did not do a very clear crop but that's okay because I can pull it up and then I can pull it in. And now I'm going to click the check mark or I could have pressed return. And I don't think that the magic wand's going to work because the pixels are different. Um, and so I'm going to choose the magnetic lasso tool and I'm going to click in an area and remember with the magnetic lasso tool that when you get to tricky areas you can click your mouse and you can also correct it if you've made a mistake which I will show I'm going to make a mistake here and I'll correct it later once I've gone around these two students once I've come to the end of my cutout with the magnetic lasso tool, I can correct my errors using the selection brush. I'm going to click the selection brush tool and if things don't go the way you want them to go, you might want to take a look up here and see what you have selected. I'm going to use my bracket key to make the brush head a little bit larger and I'm going to push out my mistake. If I had made a mistake going the other way, for example like that, I could hold my option key down and push in. And in this way you can correct your errors. I also had a mistake down at the bottom and it allows you to perfect any imperfections that transpire during your cut. Now I'm going to place the two kids on a different background. It'll be for transparency, a cutout for our yearbook and I'm going to go to new blank file and you have to pay attention to these portions or proportions here so I've got 8 inches by 11 inches this really does look more like a landscape and so I'm going to make it 11.5 um, in width and 8 8.5 and 11 and 240 pixels per square inch is fine and I do want it on a transparent background. If you don't put it on a transparent background it will not work as a cutout. I'm going to press OK and now I've got the checkerboard. Make sure you're on the move tool. Click your tiles. Click the picture that you cut out and drag it onto the background. I'm actually done with the original picture here and I can go ahead and press command W and get rid of that so it's not in my way and as you can see this was from a digital camera it had higher resolution than the background that I'm placing it on which is fine and I'm just going to hold my shift key down make it a bit smaller to fit and I'm going to also crop the area so that the background fits the size of the picture. And remember, when you crop, as I just did here, I didn't quite get it fully cropped. I'm going to push this out a little bit so I have the whole picture. And here's the important part. Pressed return, or I could have pressed um, the check mark and I'm going to select file and save as and you'll name it whatever you're going to name it you notice by default it's a PSD make sure that you're placing it wherever it needs to go in whichever folder it needs to go it has to be a TIFF save and it has to have the check mark for save transparency. It'll ask you a couple of questions, just say yes, possibly just one. So it's save transparency, OK, and OK, and done. Once you upload this to our yearbook site or wherever you're going to place it, if you uh, put the picture on another page you will not see the background and again this is called a cutout.